Hey guys, this is Sean again. Um, today we're gonna work on uh, 3020 Dell Optiplex 3020 SSF. I'm gonna show you um, how to upgrade your hard drive to SSD. So I'm gonna go step by step and if you have any question you can uh, send a comment on the bottom and uh, I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Let me show you what it got in it first. So I'm gonna start it up and uh, we're gonna show you what it got in there that way it's easy go step by step and uh, we'll uh, we will go through it and uh, I'm gonna also show you how to install um, install window 10 on SSD it's very easy so let me show you what uh, what uh, what kind of hard drive in it so what you do is uh, you click on uh, folder sign on the bot over here and go click on this PC and then on this right click on it go click on property property will show you will show you a capacity of this hard drive is 365 so it's 500 gigabyte um, hard drive uh, regular hard drive uh, in it already so what we're gonna do is remove that and put SSD in it um, I'm gonna go step by step so let's get right on it so turn it off first shut it down when it's completely shut down make sure you unplug the unplug the computer from the power because uh, I had a couple bad experience uh, I didn't do it and I had to pay for it <laughs> so all right this is unplugged now uh, open the side panel all right side panels open now you gotta take the take the uh, CD-ROM out and you will see this is the hard drive so what you need to do is unplug the power from the SS, uh, hard drive and then SATA cable plus the data cable and then there's a hook you gotta make sure you put it to the left and take this caddy out okay when you take a caddy out I'm gonna show you what to do with it so we're gonna go on the other side over here and uh, I'm going to show you what to do with it. So what you do is take this caddy out and put that on the side. And uh, I'm going to, I went and grabbed the SSD 128. Um, you see it's, it's um, the, the caddy for the SSD is not going to fit. So what you need is a, kind of adapter so adapter is something similar to this and um, this will go on the actual caddy so what do you do first you put that on there both side because your SSD is smaller than the regular hard drive so that's fit there now and then you put your SSD and uh, screw it into the sides. Let me do that, and then I'll be. So, you do that, and then you put that into the caddy case. Okay. All right, so this is all fit. Now, what you need to do is take it back into the computer and plug in your your SATA plug in your SATA cable and plug in your power to the SSD and put the caddy back into its place It's 
kind of a little harder with the plug if, if you plug in before the so now I'm gonna plug in that plug in that all right that's fit the SSD um, adapter or whatever you call it that's like five six dollar on eBay and you can order that all right that's fit there now I'm gonna put in the side panel and the next thing is plug in the computer just give me a second all right it's plugged in now let's uh, move camera to the screen and I'll show you step by step how to install Windows 10 and SSD. So I'm gonna plug in your uh, Windows 10 USB. I'm gonna make a video also how to uh, make a Windows 10 uh, USB. So what you do is plug in right here. All right. Now. I'm gonna turn the computer on. I'm gonna go to first uh, to the BIOS and show you if uh, you want to make sure you sh uh, the the hard drive shows into BIOS first. So I press F2 for Dell's, and uh, I went in there. Now, what you need to do is go to System Configuration and click on Drive. And you see it's 128 GB hard drive Samsung SSD so you got that in there that's good now what you need to do X out of this and press F12 F12 will take you to the boost menu so we're gonna go to the boost menu you'll see preparing to the boost menu boost menu you go in and you pick up the uh, USB storage device that's the second from the top so you go down and you click OK and it's gonna take a few seconds and you will see a uh, window startup uh, uh, screen and uh, then you do a few clicks and uh, go to the next step and go to the next step and a uh, couple couple step before it will start um, start downloading so just should be about to be ready all right all right it's gonna be a blue screen there we go so what you do is press next, install now, next thing you're going to click Windows 10 Pro, next, and I accept the license key, press next. Because it's a new installation, you see custom window only, SSD, press next. So I'm going to pause the video, I will be right back when it's almost finished installing and go, we'll go from there, okay? Alright, we're back, uh, so we got to the main screen, now we're going to pick up the, pick the region, it's uh, United States, and uh, the layout of the, your keyboard, whatever, however you want it, so United Kingdom or India, English, or so we're gonna pick US. So go next. Want to add another keyboard? Nah. So I did not hook up a Wi Fi, so ignore that part. And we are because of our we don't have a Wi Fi connected or internet, so we're gonna click on continue with limited um, setup. So you click that and just pick a name um, whatever you want to call your PC I'm gonna type in X go next uh, if you want to put in a password 
you can do that. Make sure you remember it. Press next. Uh, choose privacy, so you gotta read over it. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, you know, if you wanna be private, you know, not not show your location and not your show uh, your device or all that. So click accept. Yeah, Quarantana help you get things done. So yeah, it's pretty good stuff. So it's gonna take a few seconds. Um, and it will go straight to the main screen and because it's SSD it goes really quick so it should be done um, probably one or one and a half one one minute or two minutes max I think so uh, make sure you subscribe uh, uh, and if you have any questions uh, about anything you just leave me a message down below and click the like button because that will help a lot to um, to uh, your friends and other youtubers to find out about uh, how to upgrade uh, to SSD from your regular uh, computer so it's almost done let me take you all the way that way you know what a what I done was and how where you gonna which what screen you're gonna see next so it's almost done uh, almost there that's what it says to so all right here it is so if you go to the uh, folder and uh, uh, you will see the local um, disk you go to the property and right here it says 128 because the rest of this window have used its space so 128 uh, GB hard drive all right thanks a lot you have a good day